What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today I wanted to talk about some rogue or uh, maybe lower on the tier list decks that have been performing well and seeing play in online tournaments and also tie that in a little bit to the ADP ban talk but mostly to just compare results to uh, the no ADP tournaments or the ADP banned tournaments. Uh, before we get into this though, shout out to PoetownStore.com, the best place for you to get PTCGO codes. Use code CELIO for 5% off over there. Um, so I'll also be providing lists, or at least some example lists for some of these decks that we'll talk about. Um, but I have this tweet up uh, for a reason. Uh, so y yesterday I said uh, the thought of ADP might be gatekeeping more than the actual played percentages of ADP. This is a highly debated topic. Um, I also, you know, said on my Twitter that I'm going to be playing Pokemon TCG regardless of what gets banned, what does not get banned. Um, but I'm really interested in discussing things like this because it doesn't always come up and we have this interesting, unique environment where we can have uh, online tournaments with a lot of people in them where we ban this one card and see what the differences are but i think maybe uh the fear of adp or the expectation of playing against it might be worse than the actual deck uh, so i wanted to look at how decks have been performing in regular standard tournaments um, so the first one i wanted to touch on is torkoal now torkoal doesn't have any crowning achievements yet uh, it does, it's been getting like some top 16, some top 32s, like 5-2 finishes um, in tournaments. Here we see Avero Rios finish with a Torkoal variant um, in the Tag Bolt 10, which was this past week. Uh, right now it's September 13th, so do with that information what you will. Sometime in early September, uh, in case you're watching this at a later time. But yeah, so Torkoal, uh, Torkoal Firebox variants have been performing decently well and been popping up in a little bit of more numbers as of late in regular tournaments um this is a deck that people said is poor against adp just because it's a two prize focused deck and they can win in two turns without even bossing anything uh but i do think Turkle has a fair shot versus adpz from my testing even more so if you're playing a hammers list that you can keep consistent and you can hit a hammer early on uh, that can really swing the adpz matchup um so i do have a sample list from tablemon's youtube channel of torkoal um i don't know the exact list that that person played i do know that there have been some uh greens torkoal lists but i kind of like the firebox versions more uh this one is pretty simple self-explanatory you want to uh, a torkoal is your main attacker because it's uh second attack for four energy does 120 discard two energies from your opponent's pokemon and you try to make them beefy with cape of toughness maybe a heat fire energy and you can even get that attack off on turn one because of turbo patch uh so it's a fire box ish deck that is a little bit more focused on the disruption of torkoal v since decks like uh adp early on and eternatus v max are weak to energy disruption so um also being fires good against luke metals if they're not playing uh weakness guard energy and you can even remove that weakness guard energy of course with torkoal or with crushing hammer if you choose to run that so this is a variant or a deck an archetype whatever you want to call it that i do think is viable um and it's getting a little bit more attention remember we are two weeks into this meta so it, it's really early um so don't be counting decks out just yet next one is uh matt wood also known as little dark fury on youtube an excellent content creator uh matt got top eight with mad party roxy dugong in the hex hexter uh top deck eight tournament that had almost 200 players um i know for a fact there were more than 10 percent a uh, more than 10 percent share of adp um just for that argument there um also so this was not an adp band event mad party got top eight in an event with adp free to run as rampant as it likes now am i saying that mad party is going to perform consistently in an adp standard i can't guarantee that but i think this was a really good list it's an innovative list it was just a few cards off of what azul took a couple days later to win the no adp event with uh a similar variant of little dark fury's mad party list 
Um, but my my tweet that I showed at the beginning of the video about how the thought of ADP is gatekeeping more than the actual deck. That's just a theory I have. I can't prove that as of now. We don't have enough results of non-ADP tournaments, but I don't think people are playing Mad Party as much as they would if they were told by everyone, you know, sometimes ADPZ will get unlucky and you beat it, uh, or you could just dodge ADP. People are saying that the, the Mad Party is just unplayable if ADPZ is around, and Little Dark Fury showed us he went 7 one one no he went six one one into top 16 cut uh in a 186 person tournament and ended the tournament in top eight with a seven two one record um uh, he didn't even lose to adp in top eight he actually lost to luke metal which i think uh is like kind of a soft problem to single prize decks or rogue decks in general such the same kind of way that adpz is theorized to be but yeah little dark fury or matt i i preferred to call him little dark fury or ldf <laughs> that's just how i know him. but um ldf got top eight with mad party and then azul had a very similar list to get first in a no adp tournament but i think that's something we shouldn't look past because i saw so many tweets after azul won no i, I loved watching azul play no, this is not to downplay or say anything negative about Azul. He entered a tournament with a rule set and he won that tournament. That there's, You should not uh, diminish that accomplishment just because ADP was banned. Everybody entered the tournament knowing what that rule was. Um, but I saw people saying, look at this. Azul entered a you know 50 or 60 person tournament uh, with ADP banned, with Mad Party, and he won it. This can't happen with ADP around. And we had this almost 200-player tournament where uh, LDF got top 8 with an almost identical list where ADP actually ended up winning the event and ADP was around uh, in the tournament. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't like that argument. That look at this, Azul got... And again, Azul just happens to be the person that won. So uh, Azul got first place with Mad Party in a non-ADP tournament. How interesting is that? Well, LDF got top eight with Mad Party in a 200-person ADPZ legal tournament. So uh, this was this is LDF's uh, updated list. I think he changed a couple cards. I believe he played a 2-2 Dugong in that tournament. Um, but this ended up being almost the same list that azul played uh he i think he cut second air balloon for an evolution incense but then that's the same list that azul ended up playing to the first place um in the non-adp tournament i cut the coughing for third wheezing and somebody in chat last night told me that azul was going to do the same thing so um i would just cut coughing for wheezing potentially um if you're running the second evolution incense and then the last deck i wanted to talk about was sandaconda colossal Again, Nick Robinson, great player, a friend of mine, former, former, he was the last national champion, actually, before we switched to ICs. He won a non-ADP tournament with Sandaconda Colossal. People on Twitter, Facebook, around the community are saying, look at this, cool decks, innovative decks like Sandaconda Colossal can win if we ban ADP. We see here Sandaconda Colossal in this, uh, first I want to say D52 Bomber Cup. Uh, I have talked briefly with the person who's running that or one of the people that are running it. They've messaged me on Discord. We talked when they were in my chat a little bit, told them I was too busy to play in the tournament. Um, I don't know a ton about it. I do know it's regular standard format and it was a League Challenge, League Cup-esque kind of tournament run in Discord. Um, so... Now that we got that out of the way, Sandakana Colossal got third in a 60-plus player tournament with ADPZ doing very well, ADPZ having six spots in the top 16, and it actually beat an ADPZ in top eight. I cannot promise you that ADPZ was playing optimally, that they got, didn't get very unlucky. All I can tell you is what the what the paper shows here, what, what's on the screen, is that Sandakana Colossal was able to get third place in an ADPZ format. I can also tell you that Mad Party got top 8 in a 200-player ADPZ format. So I wanted to show you Nick Robinson's list. This is the one he won a non-ADP tournament with. 
um, the Cinda Colossal Cindaconda list. I have a video featuring this, and this list is actually insanely consistent. I don't, I'm not sure I would change anything uh, with this list as far as right now. Um, I did mention in my video focusing on this list that you could be cute and potentially play Water or Aurora Energy so that you can actually copy altered creation with uh three energy and then a water on nine tails of v uh so you can copy alter creation for the full effect if you wanted to do something like that but santa conda with top cape of toughness actually can't be one shot by zashin so they have to tool scrap or that so uh, it might not be as horrible as you think i definitely think it's unfavored versus adpz um but it's like it's probably not unwinnable it's the fact there um and even if it is that's one bad matchup potentially um i also think luke metal's a bad matchup for this it, it kind of seems like a lot of there's a lot of overlap sometimes between if it's a bad matchup versus adpz it also happens to be a bad matchup versus luke metal with some of these decks but there's a example list if you wanted it um so yeah i wanted to talk about today torkoal decks and specifically or more importantly mad party and sandaconda decks that I've been seeing this fallacy that they can only perform well if ADPZ is banned, and that just is not the case, as the results show. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and you want to see more content like this in the future. Leave a like and or a comment if you <laughs> wouldn't mind doing so, because it does help me reach more new viewers, and that helps the channel grow. Shout out to my wonderful sponsor, PoetownStore.com. Use code CLEO for 5% off over there. Any links you might need are in the description below, such as Poetown Store, my Twitter uh, my Patreon, my Twitch, all of that kind of stuff. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.